We're in Mallorca. Me, Heather, and Stephen. Hello! And we're here going to do three days. We're going to try and eat and drink as much as possible to get a grip on what it is to eat. Like a Mayo kid, mind the car. <laughs> Breakfast in Mallorca means ensaimada, which is these kind of, they use lard, you said, right? Kind of a buttery, lardy style of croissant, which is sort of whirled around. Um, we're in Can Joan de Saigo, it's been since 1700. It's the oldest cafe in the city, and we're going to see what their little pastries are like. Ensaimada first, uh, nice and soft. Let's have a look, let's rip a piece off. Oh, it's very good. It's like a sweet croissant. Then we have the coca which you'll see now, oh, it's really light, really light little sponge. Mm -hmm. They often dip these in chocolate, but we thought that might be a little bit unhealthy. This is our apricot one, let's have a look. Mm. Very unhealthy. Next up, Serer Sapremsa, historic old bodega from the 50s. Right, so the first dish is tombet, which is aubergines, potatoes, peppers, first fried and baked under tomatoes. Mm. We've also got frito mallorquin. Frito mallorquin is like a, a mishmash of meat, peas, vegetables, peppers. Mm. So our last dish here is lomo con col, which is uh, it's pork loin. It's been cooked inside cabbage leaves with a tomato sauce. We found a wine bar down this cute little street, so we're going to see if we can sample some local vinos. So we're in La Bodeguilla, which has been there since 1986. It's a sort of a high-end, elevated tapas wine bar. Uh, we're just here to drink, and we've gone for a bottle of back which is Vino de la Tierra de Mallorca. Now, this is a VT. There's also Bini Salem which is a DO and Play Levant which is a DO. Manto Negro is the superstar grape which we've got again in this one which we had in the last bar. But essentially this stop is an excuse to get drunk in a classy way. So salud. So we're heading down to the water's edge for a final snack. Right, we're at the Portichol luxury port down by the water's edge by the beach just there. And we're in S. Shell, and these guys specialize in the yonguet, which is a little kind of sandwich which they used to do in Catalonia, which they don't really do anymore there, just in Mallorca. I got sobre sal and cheese. Mm. Late night, night cap. <laughs> at the Bermuteria, the vermouth bar, which has a long list of vermouths and some fancy tapas. I've gone for a Chapo Daurat, which is a Catalan from Alea vermouth, a white one. Vermouth is supposed to be an aperitif. We're having it at pretty past 10 at night with tapas. So ignore the logic, but drink vermouth. So we're in the village of Bay de Mossa, beautiful little hilltop village. And these guys have a local cake, similar to the ensaimada, that kind of you know fat, sugar kind of roll. These guys do one with potato, and it's called the coca de patata. I'm gonna try some now, rip it apart. Mm. Mm. Like a brioche. So here we are, walking through the countryside, uh, climbing over gates <laughs> between olive trees, walking down a headland on our way to lunch at a place called Saforadada, and it's a rice restaurant. And here we are. We've ordered our rice, which is one of the last places where you'll find a wood smoke cooked paella. We've got some croquetas of bacalao. Mm -hmm. A bottle of Jaime de Puntiro's Premsal Blanc organic white wine. And this, which is a tuna and tobiada, which is a cured tuna cooked up with paprika and onions. Oh, that is amazing. Isn't that good? 
delicious. Show his face, show his face. Do the face. <laughs> so the rice has arrived, we've gone for a seafood mixed down with meat version. We've got a crab, ah, crab leg, some shrimp, mussels and some meat. Let's try the rice. That's very good, isn't it? Red wine, this is from Play Levant. This is uh, Cayet Tempranillo, which here they call Ulde Lebre. And uh, you've got some Montenegro as well and Syrah. What do you think, Steve? The wine is good. <laughs> Oh, no, not to say. <laughs> Didn't have to describe it. We found this little place called the Antigua Sifoneria. And it's a bar, not really, but shop, not really. But you can get vermouth, you can get wines, you've got sparkling rosé, you've got some vermouth. Run by the Germans, being drunk dry by the Brits and an American. I think we could just stay here all night. Yeah, let's stay here all night. Cost. We're in Tabene El Caracol, we've got our first two little nibbly bits. We've got some alioli, which I've never tried alioli like this. It's the creamiest. It's amazing. Albondigas. Now, this is not typical of Mallorca, but a certain someone behind the camera, white and meatballs. We've got some with, <laughs> got some with spinach. I'm ready to try them. Yummy. Mm. And the last thing we've got here, ajirgolas, what we would call secas in Madrid, these wild oyster mushrooms. Oh, wow. So we're out here in the Santuario de Yuc, um, which is a very nice monastery. We didn't think we'd eat, but we are going to have a snack. The Emperor de Carne y Guisantes, meat, pea, pie. Different shapes of the ones we get in Spain, in Spain, in Madrid. And what's called a coca roi de verdura, a vegetable one, which is similar in shape to what we would call an empanada in Madrid. Peas. We're heading down out of the Sierra de Tramontana towards Finca Pinigual, which is a winery where we're going to drink wine at a winery. <laughs> Camera away! So we've seen the fermentation tanks. We're going to see a bit more and then we're going to try some of the wines. They've got 100% uh, Manto Negro, which I'm very interested about, because apparently they're the only ones on the island that do it, because it's a tricky bug of a grape. And they've got some more classical blends and kinds of in oak and all that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. So Christina has taken us out to the Viñedos, where they have the 30, 30, 40 year old Manto Negro. So this is their local variety, and there's nice, not too gnarly, but nice old vines. I think now we're going to head back and try some. Esto es paté mallorquín. Wow. Es un paté típico mallorquín. Empanadas. Mm. Eh, estas son de atún. Mm. No, no sabía si comías carne o no. Y estas son de pollo. So we're being absolutely treated here by Cristina. We have some empanadas, real ones from the uh, local town. Some sobresada, nice and spicy. Olives, tomato, marmalades, pate, a local cheese, and some fuet, and some ham, and some tortilla. And we've tried a variety of wines so far. But currently with the Finca Verán, it's one of their sort of flagships. I think we're having a, a nice old time. It's pretty good, isn't it? Fantastic. Let's hope I can drive. <laughs> so we're in La Cuadra del Maño, and I just ordered from El Maño, which is the guy in charge, the famous chuletón, which is basically translates in Spanish as big ass steak. On the grill, corn on the cob, potatoes. This is going to be a lot of meat. Good. 
a reformed mansion with classical music and flowers and fresh produce and wine in the centre of Parma. This is far too classy for us. We're having our final drink of the night here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Right, it's breakfast time and we want to have a coca, which is like an open pizza. It's not really a thing you often get unless you go to a pastry shop. We found a pastry shop near where we're staying, so we're going to a pastry shop. Essentially like a pizza, right? Tomato, peppers, onions. I feel like I should have this when I'm drunk. Right. <laughs> so we've just come to the town of Porto Colom and half our food's been covered in beer, thanks to Heather. <laughs> but we have ordered a speciality of the island, which is a date wrapped in bacon, which sounds healthy. And taste like a date wrapped in bacon. So that's it, four days in Mallorca, and we've ended up because we haven't got much time at an Italian place run by a Scottish lady <laughs> drinking Galician beer. <laughs> but um, it's been pretty impressive. It's okay. It's not camera ready. I'll finish this video quick. This is, the, this is the part of the video where I say if you like it, subscribe and give me a like and share with your friends. But I'm not going to do that. We will. Bye. Bye.